by VTR date 7 15 1980 show number A1 This is the television game in which staring determines the fate of the player This is the game of strategy luck and knowledge. This is Bullseye. Now, here's our host, Jim Wang. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And it is true, this is the game of strategy, knowledge, and especially daring. But rather than keep you in suspense, Jay Stewart, will you please introduce our first two players? Our first player is a teacher and a singer from Palm Springs, California. Meet Roy Ann Rickard. And her opponent is a bartender who was once an oyster diver, and his hobbies are photography and cooking. Meet Scott Wyant. Welcome. Welcome to Bullseye, and good luck to both of you. Roy Ann, now that is a strange and interesting name. Is there a story behind that, Roy Ann? Well, I was supposed to be a boy, uh -huh. uh, and my parents had selected the name Roy, so I became Roy Ann. Now, you're lucky they didn't select Sam. Huh? Well, it would be kind of fishy. Sam Ann, Sam... <laughs> Come on. I'm trying. Well, it's a beautiful name, Roy Ann. I like Thank it very you. much, and I understand you're a singer. Yes. What kind of singing do you do? I've studied uh, singing for a lot of years, all kinds. Maybe a little later, there. if we have time, you'll uh, grace us with some of your talent. Would you do oh, that, little Ann? Yes. Okay. Love to. In the meantime, we have to meet our friend Scott, who is a bartender. And Scott, I've always wanted to meet a bartender, you know, out of the premises to find out. Do customers really come to you with their problems? Well, the place I work in is more of a singles bar, and mm -hmm. uh, people come there more to meet other people than to air their problems. In other words, after they meet, they have problems. Uh, right? yes. are, are you married, by the way? No, not yet. You're not married. Are you, uh, are you looking? Mm -hmm. Anything in sight? No, oh, in plain sight, clear focus. <laughs> oh. All right, well, before I muddle up this picture too much, let's play the game. Roy Ann and Scott, listen carefully. Now, here's how we work it. You accumulate money by correctly answering questions. The first player who can bank $1,000 or more wins the game and goes on to play the bonus game. Now, the categories you're going to be playing with are behind those two top windows over there. In the left-hand one, the categories in this game are Dateline 30s, Pop Rock Soul, Quotable Quotes, and Trick and Treat. And the categories in the right-hand window are About Opera, It's the Letter, Personal Profile, and our visual category, World Geography. All right, and the window down below will decide the number of questions that you're contracting to answer in whatever category you decide to select. So let's spin the wheels over there. We'll spin them up and cover them up. And we flip the coin backstage. And Roy Ann, you want it, so you go first. Whenever you're ready, hit the button, and let's see what you get. Here we go. And you have Pop Rock Soul for $150. Personal Profile, $100. And you must answer three questions. Three questions. That's the contract. Pop Rock Soul, Personal Profile. Which do you prefer, Roy Ann? Uh, I think I'll go with the money. Pop Rock Soul. Oh, well, you're going for the $150 a question. Pop Rock and Soul, $150 a question. There are three questions in this contract, which means this contract is worth... $450. All right, Roy Ann, here's your first question. After the Beatles disbanded in 1970, Paul McCartney formed his own group and recorded the hit songs Listen to What the Man Said and Jet. Can you name Paul McCartney's group? Wings. Wings is right. You got it. And the pot now has $150 in it. All right, two more questions remaining in this contract. This rock and roller from New Jersey appeared on the covers of Time and Newsweek following the release of his 1975 album, Born to Run. Can you name him? Uh, Jimi Hendrix. Oh, I'm sorry. Time is up. You missed the question. That means control goes over to Scott. Scott, you have an opportunity to answer this question. Two left in the contract. Can you tell us the artist whose picture was on the cover of Time and Newsweek had the album Born to Run. Yeah, Bruce Springsteen. That's it, Bruce Springsteen, you got it. 
And there's $300 in the pot. And one question, one more question remaining in this contract. Answer this question, you've completed the contract. Here it is. This musical group is made up of a unique cast of individuals, including a construction worker, an Indian, and a soldier. Their hits include Macho Man and YMCA. Name this group. They are the village people. For the contract, you got it. The pot is now $450, and you have completed the contract. And we'll ask you to make a decision about that pot in just a moment. But first, watch this. We'll be right back. Any player who beats five opponents on bullseye wins something really special. What is it, Jay Stewart? For your driving enjoyment, Scott, it's a brand new car! All right. That's something to work, look forward to. You've completed the contract now, Scott, and you have control of the $450 that's in the pot, which means you can bank it and it's yours to keep. Comes over to your side. But if you bank it, control goes back over to Roy Ann. Or you can keep on playing in order to build up the money in the pot towards the $1,000 in the game. What do you want to do? Well, I can't trust her to miss another question, so I think I'll go one more. You're going to keep on sure, going. Right all now. right, you're in control, so let's mix up the information on the board, get all the windows flipping, and we'll cover them up. And when they're all covered up now, Scott, hit that button, and let's see what you can get this time. You have... Pop Rock Soul again, $100 a question. Profes personal profile, $150 a question. Your contract is four questions. Four questions this time. All right, you did pretty well with Pop Rock Soul last time. Personal profile is the other category. Which did you choose, Scott? I think I'll stick with Pop Rock and Soul. You're going to stick with the old Pop Rock and Soul at $100 a question. There are four questions in this contract. The contract is worth $400. Here is your first question. This dynamic singer, who is known as the Divine Miss M, began her career performing in Turkish baths. Today, she's also a recognized movie star. Name her. Bette Midler. Bette Midler is right. And the pot is now $550. $550. Three questions left in the contract, Scott. In 1980, this rock group's American tour proved so costly, it could only be performed in two cities. During the show, a giant wall was built on stage. The show was appropriately billed The Wall. Can you name this group? I can't. Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd, you got it. The pot is now $650, $650, and there are two questions remaining in the contract. This female group backed up Diana Ross on such rhythm and blues classics as Stop in the Name of Love and You Keep Me Hanging On. Name this singing group. The Supremes. The Supremes is correct. $750 in the pot. And now, to complete the contract, answer this question, Please. Scott. Here it is. I'll give you the title of two popular albums, and you tell me the name of the rock group who recorded them. For the contract, they were Rubber Soul and Revolver. Those are the Beatles! The Beatles! Yeah. You got it! The pot is now $850. All right, you've completed another contract. Now, again, you have the choice, Scott. You can bank that money. It's yours to keep, but if you do, if you lose control to Roy Ann, however, you can continue to play if you want to leave the money in the pot. What do you want to do? I'm wilting under the pressure. I'm going to take the money and let Roy Ann have the pressure for You're going to take the money. All right, $850 transferred over to Scott's bank. And the pot is empty, and Roy Ann, you are now in control, which means you get to hit the button and choose the category and start answering the question. So let's spin the information, let her go, and cover them all up. And Roy Ann, whenever you're ready, wait till they cover them up there, Roy Ann. Okay, now you can't see a thing. Hit the button when you're set. And in quotable quotes, $200 a question. World Geography, $100 a question. And you must answer three questions. All right, the contract is for three. Roy, and which category do you choose? Quotable quotes or World Geography? I'm going to choose quotable quotes. Quotable quotes for $200 a question. There are three questions in the contract, meaning this contract is worth $600. All right, quotable quotes, and here is your first question. In 1963, before over 200,000 spectators, this American leader ended his historic march on Washington with the quotation, I have a dream. Name him. Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King is right. You're right. $200 in the pot. The pot is now $200. You have two more questions in the contract. Here's the next one, Royanne. The motto of this social service organization reads... Heart to guard and hand to man. Name this organization. 
Nursing Association. No, I'm sorry, that's not correct. Control goes over to Scott. Scott, you have an opportunity to answer the question. The motto of this social service organization reads, heart to guard and hand to man. Can you name this organization? I hope it's the Red Cross. No, I'm sorry, it is not. It is the Salvation Army. You both missed it. And so we toss the question away. Control goes back to you, Roy Ann, because Scott missed, and we still have two more questions remaining in this contract. Okay, Roy Ann, more on quotable quotes. Napoleon borrowed the quote, a nation of shopkeepers, and applied it contemptuously to this European country. Can you name the country he meant? Spain. No, that's not correct. All right, now, Scott, you got a chance again. Control goes back over to Scott. To what country did Napoleon apply that quote? He was referring to the English, England. England, Great Britain is correct. All right. $400 in the pot. And now, now you're down to the nitty gritty. That's right. One more question remaining in this contract. If you complete this contract, you'll win the game. All you have to do is answer this question. Here you go, Scott. This is it for the game. During this war, Naval Officer David Farragut won fame with his quote, damn the torpedoes, Captain Drayton, Joet, full speed. Can you name, for the game, this war? It was the War of 1812. No, it wasn't. You were saved, Roy Ann. You were saved. It's back to you. Control goes back to Roy Ann. Again, I'll repeat the quotation. And the quotation is, damn the torpedoes, Captain Drayton. Joyette, full speed. Name this war for the contract. World War One? No, it was the Civil War. It was the Civil War? It was the Civil War. That's so the correct the answer. Toss the right question down. away. Control goes back to Scott. What a battle. Oh, All right, Scott. We still have one more question. Somebody has to answer to complete this contract. And again, Scott, if you answer this one correctly, you will win the game. Next question for the game. In a famous quote, Thomas Edison defines this quality as 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Name it. Genius. You got it! $600 in the pot. We transfer it over and you have $1,450 and you won the game. Congratulations, Scott. $1,450 is yours to keep. Well, you have a little bit of that genius there. You came through. Boy, I went back and forth. I didn't know what was going to happen. Roy Ann, a marvelous game. Just marvelous. A couple of questions one way or the other and you'd have been with us we appreciate you being on bullseye and thank you so much and we have gifts for you too thank you bye-bye and now scott are you ready I'm ready okay well in just a moment we're going to play the bonus game but first take a moment for this Party contestants will receive from Amity a two-piece ensemble featuring the Secretariat with frame coin purse, removable checkbook, and multi-view card case from Amity. And the Allure Comforter Ensemble by Barclay Home Products for today's exciting fashion colors filled with Daquan polyester. Allure by Barclay. Once again, here's Jim Lang. Thank you very much, Jay. Welcome back to Bullseye. Scott, you did it. You won the game. You have $1,450 and now a chance to make a whole bunch more. Now, here's what happens. Behind those swirls up there are Bullseye various amounts of money, and lightning. Now, the wheels are spinning. You stop them by hitting this button. Whatever money accumulates in the pot is yours whenever you want to quit. Get three bullseyes in the windows, and we'll double the pot, and we'll also give you these prizes. And, Jay, will you tell us what they are? Scott, the prizes in this next package will keep you entertained at home. First, Scott, if you're waiting for suggestions, here's your cue, a brand-new pool table. The Wellington model from Golden West Billiards of North Hollywood. A regulation slate table complete with a deluxe accessory package for your playing enjoyment. And then when someone asks if you've read any good books lately, pull one from your new home library, a crown library featuring Brando for breakfast, an unabashedly intimate, candid, yet compassionable portrait of a tormented genius by Anne Koshfi Brando, the woman who knew him better than anyone else and tells all. And next, you'll have games right underfoot with this unique game, Carpeting. The Floors That Teach Carpet, colorful, nylon, cut pile in a variety of fun games, including crosswords, checkers, and scramble, furnished by Jacharo Carpet Mills Incorporated. And finally, Scott, we have home entertainment at its best with this fabulous videotape recorder. Thank you.
A Sony Betamax. Hours of pleasurable entertainment will be yours with this tape playback video recorder. With Sony Space Age technology and rugged construction, you'll see what you're missing. And Scott, this entertainment at home package is worth in prizes over $2,950. if you win all that stuff. Now, you win the bonus game, three bullseyes, and you get that package and prizes plus double the money in the pot. All right? So, but I want to tell you one thing before I go on. Should you strike lightning up there, you lose. Yes, I You understand. Okay. Are you feeling daring? No more lightning. Lucky? All right. Let's go. The wheels are spinning. Stop them whenever you want to, Scott, and let's see how much you can run up. Let her go. And you have $200. Yeah. $200 in the pot. Now, you're going to have to decide whether you want to take that $200 and call it quits right now because you know there's lightning up there, right? Oh, no, I know where it is. Oh, you think you know where it is? All right. I don't think you do, but we'll see what happens now. Do you want to go on or do you want to take the money? No, I want to. You're going to go on. All right. You have a family out there. They're all yelling, go on. I'll say go. They all say go. Okay, do you want to freeze either of those two bullseyes? I you can do, do that. Indeed. You do which ones? Or which? Both of them? No, I want to freeze the bottom one. That's you what the think is. it's the bottom one. All right, we're going to freeze the bottom bullseye. That leaves you two windows Excuse still me. to make money on. And let's hope the lightning was in that window, because if it, it is, was. you can make a whole bunch of money. I'm ready for this. All right, you have $200. Let's spin the money. Let her go on the two top windows. The bottom bullseye is frozen, and you can hit that button whenever you want, Scott, and see what we got. You've got $200. Bullseye. And another 150 $350. All right, remember now, three bullseyes, and you get those prizes. You have $350. Do you want to go on, or do you want to... Take the money. You're going to go on? All right, he's going to go on to play. Now, do you want to freeze that new bullseye you have up there? Oh, that's a good question. I mean, I was quite sure that it's down there, but how sure am yeah, I? You want, remember, three bullseyes, and you, uh, do, we double what yeah. you have, and we also give you those prizes. Yeah. I, think I'll, uh, I think I'll just uh, leave the bullseyes and go for, just spin the You're one. You're going to go for right. the one and hope that that is not the one with the lightning, all right? Yeah, okay, we'll freeze the other bullseye then. Freeze two bullseyes. You have one window still alive. You're going to go. You have $350. Let's spin the money there in the upper right window. Let her go, and when you're ready, Scott, let's see. Big number. Numbers, big numbers, bullseye. Come on, bullseye. Another 150. Now, there's $500 in the pot. Do you want to continue on, or do you want to take the money? Huh? What do you think? I can't. I gotta go. You're gonna go. All right. He's down there. You have the two bullseyes frozen. You have $500 in the pot already. Another bullseye, and we'll double it and give you the prizes. What's those prizes? Let her spin. Come on, bullseye. Hit it. Would you like to know everything you have right now? Oh, I love you. All right. I love you. All right. With the cash that you won here, plus the prizes and your previous winnings in the game, you have a grand total of $5,400. Now, I want to try something. I want to try something. Would you like to know where the lightning was? Because you were pretty sure that it was down in the bottom one down there, huh? Quite sure. Okay, let's uncover the windows and just let them spin out in the open without covering them up. <laughs> there it was! You were right! Nice go. You're telepathic or something. That's right. Well, you have all that money, and in just a moment, we'll meet a new challenger. So go on over and say hello to your new challenger. And Jay Stewart, wherever you are, would you introduce our new challenger, please? He's a captain in the United States Army who just graduated from law school, and he's married with two children. Meet Scott Black. Welcome to Bullseye, Scott. Now, I've got two Scots over there. It would be all right if I called you captain? That's fine, Jim. All right. Now, you're an Army lawyer. How does an Army lawyer differ from, let's say, your regular civilian lawyer? Well, our clients don't pay as much. <laughs> That's for sure. Where did you study law? California Western Law School in San Diego, Jim. The uh, Army paid for my education while I was there. That was awful nice of them. Are you a career soldier now? Is that it? I think so. I like the work, and I enjoy the people that I work with. Well, I hope you enjoy playing Bullseye, because as you saw, there's a lot of money to be won here. And we'll be right back with the game between Scott and Captain Scott in just a moment.
contestant on Bullseye or to join us in the studio, drop a postcard to Bullseye. Post Office Box 938, Los Angeles, California, 90048. That's Bullseye. Post Office Box 938, Los Angeles, California, 90048. Now, back to Jim. Thank you very much, Jay. Well, Scott and Kathy Scott, we have run out of time. I hate to tell you that, Scott. You have won $5,400. That's right. And Kathy Scott will try and take away that championship. And that's all coming up. Until then, this is Jim Lang, hoping that everything you're going for hits the bullseye. Bye. Some of our defining contestants will receive heat wave, powerful instant heater, heats and circulate through air without dangerous red hot coils. Heat wave by Interbatic Incorporated and Slinky Play Shape from James Industries, makers of original Slinky walking spring toys. These brightly colored interlocking building toys stimulate children's imagination. Slinky Play Shapes. Also, a selection of Castle and Cook products, including delicious dough bananas, fresh and canned pineapple, fresh mushrooms, and bumblebee seafoods. Plus, funny mule team borax, a natural for freshing and feeding all the family wash. And it's handy for many household cleaning chores. Jack Barry and Dan Enright Productions.